सो टुडे वी विल बी सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम लेक्सीग्राफिकली स्मॉल स्ट्रिंग आफ्टर स्वैप सो आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन दिस प्रॉब्लम इन सच ए वे दैट इफ यू आर न्यू टू द प्रोग्रामिंग और इफ यू आर स्टार्टेड प्रोग्रामिंग टुडे विल ऑल्सो एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस प्रॉब्लम सो फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग प्लीज वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड सो फर्स्ट थिंग वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन क्लियरली then we will see like strings and its operations so what are the operations you need to perform to solve this problem so first we will understand the question clearly like here you are given a string is containing only digits we need to return the lexicographically smallest string that can be obtained by swapping adjacent digits in s with the same parity at most once so is saying that you need to convert string is into lexicographically smallest one Lexicographically smallest one by swapping adjacent digits. Adjacent digits means index i and index i plus one. Only the adjacent digits can be swapped, and this should have the same parity. It should have the same parity. Until now, we did not mention what is the parity. So these operations can be performed at most once. That means zero times or one time, not more than that. Now we have digits have the same parity if both are odd or both are even. He is saying that if my i index and i plus 1 index these values if both are even then it is the same parity of both are odd then it's the same parity for example 5 and 9 as well as 2 and 4 have the same parity because 5 and 9 are odd 2 and 4 is even now 6 and 9 this is even and this is odd so we will say that this is not a same parity now consider this example we have 4 5 3 2 0 and we need to perform the swapping operations only once at most once right now we have this 5 and 4 these are different parity so i can't do anything 5 and 3 these are my same parity right these both are odd integers what i can do i can swap this if i am swapping this my answer will be 4 3 5 2 0 right and this is my final answer because we can perform the operations at most once so this will be my answer now you will think uh, what happens if we come from the right side we are coming from the left side and we are saying it's okay if we are coming from the right side are we able to make the lexicographically smallest string now think now think come if you are coming from the right side now if you are coming from the right side for this it will fail now consider this example 4 three, 2 uh 6 and 8 right not even this let's consider let's consider the example we have 6 and we have 4 we have 4 and we have 8 here 8 here now we are coming from the right side if you are coming from the right side if we swap if we swap these both are same parity if you are swapping my answer will be 4 8 and 6 right if we are coming from the what happens if we coming from the right side now we have 4 and 6 which are the same parity and if you are swapping it it will be it will be 8 6 4 so obviously my 4 8 6 is the minimum if you are coming from the right side my lexicographically smallest element will be formed from the right side only so i think you have got it here my constraints are only 100 now let's see the logic it's simple a is equals to s of i minus 0 b is equals to s of i plus 1 minus 0 if my a percentile to is equals to 0 and b percentile to equals to that means if it is 1 or if it is 0 and my a is greater than b that means if you are coming from the right side and if my i index is greater than my i plus 1 if i swap this it's done so i will swap it and i will break it out and finally we will return the c so here the string operation is the swap the swap you need to understand what exactly swap does swapping is something which will swap the both index values not the indexes now this is i i plus 1 consider we have here 2 and here 4 what my swap does at ith index it will in, it will Add four and at i plus one index it will make it two. So this will be my answer. So here, think about time complexity. So I think you have thought about it. The time complexity will be order of n, and we are not using any extra space. 
so the space will be order of work so i think you have learned something new from this video so if you have learned something new please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye